Hello, everyone, and good morning. We appreciate you being on time. We're going to be waiting for one or two more minutes before we get started. Uh, so thank you again for being on time. Let's just give it a few more minutes, and then we'll get started. All right. Hello, everyone, and good morning. My name is Dan Shalev, and I'm Cyclops Marketing Manager. Today's webinar is dedicated to the possibilities we can unlock by delivering multi-gigabit connectivity over very long distances without breaking the bank. Uh, of course, using Cyclops Extend Millimeter Technology or Extend MM. We're joined by Cyclops EMEA Regional Sales Director, Mr. Danny Bensimchon, who will be presenting today, along our valued partners. <clears throat> Mr. Ralph Brown from Myra Distribution, Mr. Kyle Stone from Duxbury Networking, and Mr. Ted DeBoer from Adcom Tech. Thank the you, recording Dad. of this webinar will be made available on demand on our YouTube channel as well as other social media channels in the next couple of days. And all of the questions that you ask during this webinar will be answered, collated, and then also distributed in a thank you email at the end of the show. Data sheets and more information about what we're presenting here today can be found on our website. Uh, very simply go to sickle.com forward slash resources and everything is there. Happy to also share that link in the thank you email that we'll send at the end of the show today. Without further ado, I'd like to give the floor to Danny. So Danny, we can begin. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Dan. Uh, I hope uh, everyone uh, can hear us uh, loud and clear and uh, able to see my screen. So uh, let's uh, begin. So I will start with a few words about Ciclu for those who don't know us. Uh, Ciclu was established back in 2008 uh, with a groundbreaking uh, innovation uh, that uh, presented to the market the millimeter wave most affordable and carrier grade solution. And since that time, we are uh, uh, the leaders in this market, uh, thanks to the innovation uh, built here uh, in Israel, in uh, Ciclu HQ. And we develop a variety of uh, solution operating in millimeter wave uh, to address uh, uh, various applications, as you can see here on the left-hand side. Uh, we have the uh, largest uh, portfolio. Uh, for E-band and V-band in terms of point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint -point, all the way to mesh solution. Um, we have uh, the largest uh, market share at the markets where uh, the, and this is proven, sorry, at markets where the data, the database of the installation is shared and uh, in, on the regulators' uh, websites such as US uh, FCC. And you can see here one of the years uh, since uh, 2011 uh, to date, every year Ciclo accounts for more than 50% of the new installation in the US. The same numbers are approximately also in the UK. And uh, for other markets, uh, we are getting quite uh, good uh, feedback, as, uh, including uh, South Africa. Uh, in terms of our partners and customers, you can see here uh, some uh, well-known uh, logos from uh, companies such as Google Fiber, which is the uh, ISP arm of Alphabet, and they are a service provider in the US operating uh, at above uh, 20 markets, and uh, we are a, their a wireless fiber solution at locations where fiber is not feasible or they want to get a faster time to market. We also partnered with uh, Facebook for various uh, projects starting back from the 2500, uh, developing the longest reach millimeter wave uh, radio uh, e-band uh, together with them to address, the, uh, to address uh, rural areas. 
Uh, Signify is the innovation arm of Philips Lightning, and this is uh, something related to smart city. We are able to deploy or install our uh, point to multi point mesh, a 60 year solution inside a public uh, Lightning, and this is a subject for another uh, webinar. Uh, M247, uh, just like Google as a leading uh, uh, alternative operator, uh, M247 is the leading WISP in uh, the UK, and uh, we are uh, the main solution also for them. Going to a tier one operator such as Rakuten uh, from uh, Japan, which is a leading uh, open uh, uh, source uh, uh, 5G uh, service provider, very innovative, and they chose uh, Ciclu as their sole supplier for 70-80 gigahertz uh, point to point. Total Play is from South, Af South America, sorry, uh, tier one operator. Uh, Bezek uh, is the uh, local incumbent here in Israel, and Peloton is the leading uh, mobile operator here in Israel. Skywire, I'm sure you all know. And uh, our solution, as you can see here, uh, uh, also serves uh, Homeland Security and security uh, uh, solutions, and uh, we are the leading provider for more than 200 police forces around the world, including uh, NYPD. You could see the cyclo radios even in uh, Times Square. Uh, just a quick uh, catch up uh, in terms of what is millimeter wave uh, and uh, what sets it apart from other frequencies for fixed wireless. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see uh, the two bands V band 60 gigahertz and E band 7080. On the left hand side, you can see the traditional uh, microwave bands as well as sub six uh, which is where you could find the uh, things like uh, the remote control that opens the, your car in the morning and all the way to um, uh, alarm systems and uh, cellular networks and uh, wi-fi so this is a relatively narrow uh, band the main benefit is the ability to operate uh, with non line of sight but as you can see here it's very limited in terms of available spectrum and apart from Wi-Fi, it's uh, extremely uh, expensive. Uh, the darker parts here are the uh, licensed microwave. So again, here uh, the uh, resources are quite limited. And this was uh, for the last, may I say, 50 years, the most uh, deployed uh, fixed wireless solution for uh, transmission. But those bands are now uh, extremely populated and they are not able to uh, catch up with the capacity demands of today's uh, applications and uh, this is why everyone is heading to millimeter wave. Uh, one thing that we uh, identified and developed especially for the South African market is the 17 gigahertz uh, point to point uh, band and we have a solution uh, especially developed for South Africa due to the fact that this band is available for free. But if we go to the main uh, product line of Ciclu, uh, we are uh, utilizing the, the 60 gigahertz, which is a uh, license exempt and recently was opened in South Africa also for point to multi point. Uh, globally, it was uh, almost doubled uh, starting in the US in 2016, all the way to 71. And we hope that uh, Africa, African countries will follow, including South Africa. And uh, this is uh, uh, part of the guidelines from uh, ITU. Um, then we have the E band, uh, which is a, a 7176, 8186, uh, 10 gigahertz of spectrum, which is lightly licensed uh, also in South Africa and uh, gives a very high reuse. And uh, this is the main part of what we are going to speak today on this webinar uh, with the Extend the Mem solution. Uh, the benefit of millimeter wave are around the fact that those bands are relatively abundant and the, the fact that they are, uh, they are offering a very wide spectrum coupled with narrow beams. Uh, that means a, a scalability, unmatched scalability, and we'll soon see some examples. Uh, just to emphasize the, the narrow beams, you can see here a, a metal panel on the top of a building where they wanted to hide the antenna, still the narrow beam was uh, is able to 
uh, transmit and re being uh, received on this uh, radio, uh, uh, enabling uh, a very unique uh, solution, which is just to uh, showcase uh, the uh, capabilities or the ability of the radio to operate at a narrow gap. So imagine that you want to transmit inside a crowded city between buildings that are quite uh, uh, close to each other, and uh, it's not possible with other band, it's possible with a millimeter wave. The fact that most of the energy that we are transmitting uh, over those narrow beams is going precisely to the location that I want to serve, that means that I don't need to transmit high power and my receiver can be extremely sensitive. Uh, that also uh, contribute to the high reuse factor and you can see a comparison with uh, 5.8 gigahertz, for example. And if you couple all those things, you end up with a, a, the most scalable fixed wireless uh, spectrum. And this is why everyone uh, sees that as the future of, a, of a fixed wireless uh, uh, solutions. Uh, we also offer extremely low latency uh, with the 10 gigabit solution uh, all the way down to 10 microsecond. And we will talk about it later on as well. An example of how to uh, utilize or to, uh, leverage the benefit of narrow beams is uh, transmitting over the water. We all know the effects of uh, reflections uh, from the water. And here I uh, provided a diagram with an example of traditional microwave beam compared with millimeter wave. So with traditional microwave beam, you need to build a very high tower uh, in order to avoid those reflections. It's not the case with millimeter wave. Uh, for example, we have uh, here in Israel, uh, links operating over the Sea of Galilee. This is the place where, uh, as for the Christian uh, believers, it, this is the place where Jesus was walking over the water. So we have a link of 10 kilometers and more going from simple light poles uh, that, that are three or four meters above the water. Here we can see another uh, an example of a radio going 14 kilometers over the sea, still able to deliver 10 gigabit at a relatively uh, low height uh, above the water. Uh, we spoke about uh, the ability to operate in dense uh, cities. So uh, let's see some examples of uh, co-locating uh, cyclo radios without worrying about uh, mutual interference. Uh, the only thing that uh, prevents us to uh, populate more radios is the physical size of the radio. As you can see here an example from Portland. This is the Eben 780 gigahertz radios and those boxes or those radios can be all the way from one gigabit to 10 gigabit. Uh, the smaller form factor radios uh, deployed here in Jerusalem, again, very close proximity. And a similar picture to this one from London but uh, it's not only how many radios you can uh, locate uh, or put on one pole, but it's also uh, how many radios you can put on the same rooftop, because usually uh, wireless ISPs are renting uh, the whole rooftop, if possible, and then they want to take advantage, take advantage of most of the area and deploy as many as radios as possible. So let's take, take a look of this uh, specific example from a rooftop in uh, London, where we have more than 100 radios. Uh, so another benefit of uh, setting a millimeter wave and cyclo as your uh, prime solution, just like this uh, wireless ISP did in the health of uh, London. So we saw how you can populate the radios on one pole or even on a complete rooftop, but how does it look when you look at a complete city? So again, thanks to the fact that in the US and the UK, the local regulator, FCC and Ofcom, are making available for the public the installations data, we, all, we also know for each radio exactly where it is located. So if we take those data and plot them on a Google map, we can get this kind of a, a diagrams. And this is a real, those are real radios uh, that we, uh, gathered from the FCC database, in this case for San Francisco. And you can see the number of point-to-point -point radio, 70, 80 gigahertz only, because 60 is license exempt. Uh, we believe that there are something similar to that. 
evolved uh, along the years uh, all the way to 2016. In 2020, we had 6,000 operating links in San Francisco, and then we stopped counting uh, because uh, the, the message is loud and clear. And uh, for those of you that are interested, we have similar maps for New York or Los Angeles or Chicago or even uh, Manchester and uh, London as well. Uh, let's go and talk about the Cyclo point-to-point uh, solutions. Uh, the first one, as I mentioned, is the 17 gigahertz EH1107F. This is a one gigabit full duplex out of the box solution with integrated switch, two ports, RJ, RJ, RJ45 and SFP. Uh, you can see it here, it's a relatively small ODU, but still a uh, very powerful with high transmit power all the way to 10 dBm and a minus 99 dBm receiver sensitivity operated various uh, channel bandwidths. Uh, you don't need here any license to get the full capacity. And uh, I was told that the longest link that we are aware uh, deployed in South Africa goes to 20 kilometers. Uh, this radio supports a uh, adaptive uh, modulation with quality of service, a jumbo frame, Q&Q. It can even leverage the spectrum in asymmetrical uh, channel to enable maximize to maximize the capacity that you can deliver, offer very low uh, uh, latency, as well as uh, for those of you who are servicing uh, mobile operators with backhaul, uh, it supports also synchronization protocols. Uh, it is available in stock in South Africa uh, with various antenna size, as you can see here, uh, with the related uh, gain. Sorry. The next radio is a point-to-point -point 60 gigahertz. It belongs to the Cyclo 100 series. It's called EH600TX. It uh, supports 11 non-overlapping full capacity channel. Couple that with the massive reuse factor that we, we've seen. So simply what the feedback that we are getting about this one from our customers around the world is that uh, beside the site survey to find the, the line of sight, you don't need to worry about potential interference, no need to go and check with spectrum analyzer what are the chances that it will operate. It simply operates out of the box and if uh, very low chances you get uh, some interference, uh, you can operate the integrated uh, spectrum analyzer uh, and uh, switch to another channel uh, and then uh, you uh, get through this uh, potential interference. It is available with various antenna sizes all the way to two feet. And you can see here uh, the uh, typical uh, distances that can be achieved with it. It is also equipped with a triple Ethernet port, even PO in and dual PO out to power cascaded radios, cameras, Wi-Fi access point, or any standard PoE accessories. Um, and it's also supporting carrier grade uh, features based on uh, Metro Ethernet Forum and has offered the latency of up to 350 microseconds. The next radio looks exactly the same, but is 70 gigahertz uh, uh, link. Uh, and due to the fact that it is 70 gigahertz, it can reach longer uh, distances, as you can see here with the various antennas, as well as using our extend NM protocol, and I will talk about it later on. This is the main topic of this presentation. Beside the reach and the frequency, of course, it looks the same as the previous product with the same capabilities, the same uh, latency and capacity of one gigabit aggregate that can be used either in symmetrical mode or asymmetrical mode as well. Next one is the 1200FX, which is, uh, as far as we know, is uh, South Africa's most deployed E-band radio. Uh, it, is, uh, it comes out of the box with one gigabit full duplex and available with various antenna size, the same size as we've seen with others on the E-band family. It has a dual Ethernet e or gigabit Ethernet ports only, PoE in and even supports PoE out. Uh, very simple uh, to operate, uh, extremely reliable, and uh, offers the latency of up to 250 milliseconds. Next one is the, the EH2500. 
this is the uh, champion of uh, millimeter wave in terms of uh, reach uh, with operational uh, uh, links. Uh, we have a uh, world record uh, operating links at 28 kilometers, still delivering two gigabit. Uh, this one has a four a gigabit Ethernet port, two of them are uh, SFP slots. Uh, beside the PoE, it also support direct DC, so you can get redundancy for uh, power delivery if required. And uh, it also supports the PoE out up to 13 watts and offers even lower latency of 100 microseconds. Uh, the next one is the main uh, topic of this uh, presentation, DH8010, uh, the, our 10 gigabit solution. It is the longest reach uh, millimeter wave 10 gigabit solution available today on the market with the lowest uh, uh, latency, uh, extremely low. This is a real fiber like 10 microsecond, one hop latency. It also uh, consume uh, the lowest power. Uh, among uh, its uh, competitors on the market, the smallest weight and form factor still offers the highest MTBF of more than 90 years, thanks to the in-house developed uh, silicon form cyclo and uh, the robust, uh, uh, the robust uh, ODU and accessories that we are offering with it. This radio supports the same sizes of antenna from half a foot to two feet. Uh, 10 gigabit can be uh, deployed at up to 16 kilometers with uh, extended M. Every uh, number that I'm showing here is uh, proven in the field with operational links. It offers a unique uh, combo port of 10 gig, both RJ45 and SFP Plus for you to choose and for your flexibility. It also supports a dual power supply with PoE in and direct DC and it has nine level of adaptive modulation as well as supporting a QS and a Q and Q in terms of VLANs and double tags with this very powerful radio. Main topic of this solution is how to get millimeter wave at distances beyond the traditional three or four or five kilometers of a uh, 7080 gigahertz, and this is uh, our Extend MM. Cyclo was the first in the world to introduce this kind of solution back in 2014, uh, branded as Extend MM. And let's take a look uh, in the details of uh, this uh, solution. So basically what we are saying, whether if you already have a traditional link a microwave operating at uh, sub 6 or 18 or 23 gigahertz at 6, 7, 8, 10, 15 kilometers and you want to boost its capacity, no need to forklift it and throw it away. You can use it in parallel to the Cyclo radio up to 10 gigabit and get most of the time full capacity while in terms of the rain intensity will affect the performance of a millimeter wave. Uh, it will switch over automatically uh, to the backup, allowing you to keep the service connected uh, at most of the time throughout the year. And you can also uh, uh, deploy new links for long distance and couple the cyclo radio with either sub six, uh, 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 saying a five gigahertz radio, for example, and cyclo, or use uh, another uh, band as you prefer. And uh, this solution uh, is uh, quite powerful and we are very successful with it uh, all, all over the world, including uh, South Africa, and we will see some examples. Let's go into more details. Um, keep in mind that you don't need an external switch or router that will control this operation. You simply connect the ODU of your other microwave or sub-6 to the integrated switch of Cyclo Radio. We will take control of it and use it uh, as a backup, and we will see some examples right now. What does it give you? Uh, usually, uh, our uh, customers are uh, uh, doing uh, designs for links with 99% uh, of the time getting the capacity from the Cyclo radio. Depends on the model. It's not only the 8010. You can even use it with the 
EH710 at 1 gig or 2500 at 2 gig or any other iterable radio. And uh, rest of the time, uh, about 1% uh, during the year, you can lean on the capacity of uh, existing uh, microwave or new uh, sub-6 or microwave that you are deploying uh, together with it. So you get the flexibility in terms of reach uh, without compromising about capacity. Yes, you can get up to 10 uh, gigabit full duplex and we will soon see some examples of this as well. So if you couple it uh, with a separate uh, ODU and antenna, uh, it looks like this. Uh, you simply connect the one gigabit Ethernet port from Ciclu to the ODU with the separate antenna and the service is being connected uh, through the 10 gig if it is the 8010. Uh, it's quite easy and simple uh, to operate. And if you are uh, operating at a, a five gigahertz uh, band as the backup, you can leverage the Ciclu dual band antenna and only use a uh, ODU uh, from any vendor that uh, uh, supports a transparent internet and most of them do. And uh, we are offering a dual band antenna, one foot or two feet, uh, that supports both five gigahertz and 7080 and uh, can be connected with this uh, solution. So two RF cables that we are providing uh, connect them to the uh, 5 gigahertz ODU with this solution and the 1 gigabit Ethernet port goes directly to the Ciclu ODU to be used as backup. 10 gigabit port goes down to your customer or your network uh, as you prefer. Uh, quite simple, quite easy and proven. What are the distances that can be achieved? So if you consider 99% availability for each capacity out of the nine uh, modulation level that this radio supports, you can see here the maximum range that can be achieved. And you can see here 10 kilometer, 10 gigabit while maintaining 99%. And if you want to uh, maintain 99% with eight gigabit or 8.6, you can get 12 kilometer etc. Uh, some people ask me what are the maximum distances can, can be achieved while keeping the radio sync at a particular uh, capacity. So here we can get the maximum capacity, 16 kilometers still maintains 10 gigabit full duplex capacity and you can see other uh, capacities uh, that the radio can maintain a, a high capacity at uh, various uh, distances as well. So that gives you uh, some perspective in terms of uh, uh, the flexibility of this, uh, uh, of what this radio can offer. Uh, in terms of switch over between the uh, Ciclu radio and the backup solution, you have two options. Option one is to simply say when the Ciclu radio goes totally down, then run the switch over. The other option is to select out of the nine levels of adaptive modulation. For example, if your uh, backup radio supports a uh, 500 megabit, so there is no uh, uh, benefit uh, switching to 330 and waiting for the radio to go all the way down to no service, uh, but you rather when the radio switch down from 700, uh, go directly as the next uh, a capacity to the a 500 megabit a backup radio if this is the the case. So the Ciclu web GUI, and we will soon see that, enables you to select the switch over capacity and you should select the switch over a capacity which is closest to the capacity of your backup radio. And this is quite easy and intuitive and we'll soon see that on the next slide. So this is part of the Ciclu web GUI. Uh, again, uh, just like any iterable radio, you can see both end of the radio. Here we call them left and right. Uh, and you can see uh, on the advanced config menu, uh, we have extend mm. Uh, quite simple. Uh, if uh, I will go over the steps, uh, you go to advanced config, select extend mm select which side uh, is uh, the master, in this case uh, the one which is connected to the network usually should be selected as the master, enable extend mm, copy to remote, 
uh, to enable the extend the mem solution also on the other end. Select the backup port uh, from the cyclo switch. With the 8010, there is only option uh, uh, Ethernet one, but others have, offer more ports, then you can select another port. Capacity threshold for switch over, as I uh, explained on the previous slide, and a switch mode, uh, which enables you to do some testing. Uh, so usually it should be auto, uh, that means it will automatically switch when the capacity goes under 700 meg. But if we go to main and backup, you can force the radio to operate with the main link or force the radio to operate with the backup link just for testing purposes. But usually it should be maintained on auto. And uh, after that, you simply uh, press apply. After you press apply, you get feedback from the radio about the current status. Here we can see that the main path is active and the, the fact that uh, Ciclu continuously monitor uh, the availability of the uh, backup path. And here we can see it's standby, which means uh, the monitoring uh, is done successfully and you can rely on it uh, to be ready uh, for uh, to be switched to if there is an issue with a uh, capacity drop at that uh, uh, path. Uh, this uh, switch over is done extremely fast. Uh, we even uh, support uh, cellular backholes and our uh, customers are reporting that it is done without dropping cellular calls for them. Some examples of uh, how does it look uh, on the field physically. So with the two feet antenna, we are not only providing the two uh, SMA cables to connect the RF uh, horizontal and vertical, as you can see here. Uh, with the sub-6 radio. We're also uh, providing this small mounting kit to uh, position uh, the sub-6 radio, as you can see here. And here we can see a uh, installation with various vendors, uh, Ubiquiti, Wave IP, where in this case, the integrator selected to uh, position it uh, down here uh, without using the mounting kit. And here we can see a five gigahertz radio from Cambio. So, we are uh, compatible with various, and if you need more information, you can consult with our uh, distributors and us as well. How easy it is to design and deploy uh, cyclo radios? For, so in terms of alignment, uh, if you deploy the dual band antenna, it makes life quite easy because you start the alignment with the five gigahertz signal, which uh, operate at wider beam. And uh, once you've reached the best uh, uh, RSSI with the five gigahertz, you can start uh, do the fine alignment with the 7080. But if you are not using the uh, dual band antenna and five gigahertz uh, is not helping you for those long distances, you can use if with the two feet antenna, our uh, optical scope, which is a tool that can be uh, uh, purchased from our distributor. It comes with uh, a special, uh, a, a special uh, package that enables to protect it uh, and uh, carry it with you, uh, just like a backpack. Uh, it's quite uh, handy. And you can see it here. Uh, it's uh, based on a rifle scope uh, optical uh, monocle and enables you to run the uh, alignment procedure quite fast. Uh, the RSSI value that we are giving on our link budget calculator, and I will soon uh, show it, uh, are the exact uh, numbers of zero point something uh, volts that you will see on the voltmeter, just as can be seen here. And another benefit of the Ciclo radio is the fact that you don't need the computer to switch it to alignment mode. When you hook in the voltmeter hooks uh, into the special sockets that we have on the ODU, the radio switches automatically to alignment mode, to enable fast deployment and easy installation process. And when you uh, pull it out after you finished and reached uh, the required uh, RSSI, you simply uh, restart the radio and it comes back at operational mode. Uh, Smart Roll LBC, this is the Ciclu uh, link budget calculator. This uh, link budget calculator uh, enables a very fast intuitive uh, 
predicted performance based on uh, statistical uh, statistics of rain from all over the, the world that we gathered from official ITU uh, database, uh, 50 years uh, uh, of statistics. When you couple the uh, radio performance on the left hand side, the radio model, the channel bandwidth, uh, antenna size, with the location, we are uh, coupling the locations uh, rain statistic with the RF performance of that specific link and able to give you immediately the required uh, RSSI and the predicted performance in terms of uh, days and uh, minutes and uh, or even seconds of each modulation level as well as a colored uh, table. This is quite intuitive. Everyone can register lbc.cyclo.com. It's available for free and uh, feel free to uh, register and uh, benefit from it. If you have any issue with uh, uh, the way to use it, just uh, contact us and we'll be more than happy to run an online session one-on-one uh, -on -one and uh, do uh, further explanations. Uh, another tool that uh, we are offering is a, a kind of service uh, to give a solution to a complete uh, perimeter. It can be a neighborhood, it can be a uh, I don't know, any state. Uh, and here we can see an example uh, with a point-to-point -point radio going to a location and helping to decide about the point-to-multi-point uh, hub location and the way to connect them to each and every household. This is a tool called Windy or Wireless Network Design Engine. You simply enter the coordinates of the location that you want to uh, serve. You enter the models of radios uh, that are available at your hand or you want to use, and it will give you uh, 20 possibilities. Each possibility will be ranked with a price and a reliability. You select the one uh, which mostly suits you, and it generates for you this design, which is interactive. It can be opened on Google Earth map, and when you touch each link, it tells you the 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 exact channel, the antenna size, and the model of the radio, as well as creating for you the configuration file for each and every radio. So this is windy, quite interesting for those of you heading to large scale projects. We also offer EMS and NMS, uh, which are carrier grid uh, suite, uh, solution to manage our radios. Uh, and uh, you can see some snapshots from the screen and the capabilities of those uh, systems. And I will be more than happy to uh, to give more information. Uh, interesting is the fact that we can offer a one month uh, trial for free. So inquire with your uh, local uh, partner, with our one of our local partners in South Africa and uh, uh, get your uh, software. It can be either a, loaded on your own server or you can use it as a service in the cloud uh, connecting your network. Uh, we also uh, give our customers, uh, the ones that are purchasing our radios at our uh, partners, uh, access to the Cyclo Partners portal when you can even open and monitor support cases if uh, you need a, a help with configuring the radio or you suspect that something is going wrong. Uh, we also have self-certificate training programs uh, over there, and you can get a free software update uh, with the related releases node, as well as database of literature of all the service of all the sorry all the products. Uh, we also have a Cyclo official uh, technical channel available on YouTube with explanation of how to install and operate each and every radio model. And we also offer uh, remote support services. Uh, this is, a, if it is beyond the warranty time, it's a extra, a extra payment. And if required, we have a local partner and can support on-site uh, training, as well as the network design services with our Windy, as mentioned before. How easy it is to install red, uh, the Cyclo radio? I mentioned the fact that it uh, switches automatically to alignment mode. So here I presenting an example. One of my trips to another African country has bo I bought the radios in my suitcase. Uh, 
those uh, guys uh, never saw a millimeter wave radio. They are familiar with microwave. I gave them the explanation how to assemble the mounting kit and connect the RF cable. We ran the link budget calculator and calculated the required uh, RSSI. Uh, their technician went out up to the tower and uh, connected the voltmeter and started the alignment procedure. And after a half a day, the, run, the link was up and running and it's still running to date, uh, I think three or four years uh, uh, up until now. Uh, the radio uh, uh, supports also automatic quality of service uh, with default MEF uh, recommended value. Of course, you can configure them. Uh, and also, uh, uh, you don't need to program any IP address to enable uh, it to interconnect between two points. Of course, it has the web GUI. We saw a snapshot from it, and you can configure it uh, further. But in order to, f to help you do the most important thing, interconnect two points, it simply operates out of the box, as simple as that. Some success stories uh, with ExtendMM uh, in uh, South Africa. Uh, so here we get a, a testimonial uh, from a William Moller, a CTO at iBits. This is an, a, a WISP operating in a, the Cape area. And uh, before they were introduced to uh, extend MM, they used to operate a millimeter wave links uh, limited to four and five kilometers. And today uh, with Cyclo, for the last, uh, I say three or four years with Cyclo, uh, and the extended MEM solution, they are very happy to uh, bring their multi gigabit capacity further, uh, 10 kilometers and even beyond. Another testimonial from uh, Speedsurf, in this case, uh, again, operating the uh, dual band extended MEM and uh, uh, this uh, uh, RSP uh, Adan is a uh, uh, talking here about the fact uh, using the dual uh, power supply, how it uh, perfectly suiting the issues uh, in South Africa in terms of available uh, power, uh, using the AC power with the PoE and the backup connected to the direct DC of the radio and how it's uh, simply perfectly suited the situation of uh, switching between the two options, allowing uh, the batteries to be a, a charge when the AC power is available. A more, more success stories. So here we can see the first 10 gigabit link in Africa uh, operated uh, by an integrator called AVAX SA410. Uh, and the next one is the, the champion. Uh, please tell me if we are wrong, but uh, the 12 and a half kilometer, this is the longest 10 gigabit reach in Africa. If you deployed, any of you deployed longer uh, 10 gigabit uh, links with Cyclo, please let us know. But this is uh, uh, Michael from uh, Fiberfly. Here I will give a, just a snapshot about a 60 gigahertz mesh solution, uh, the Cyclo multi TG. I will go uh, into a, just a, a quick overview to give you to test it, and uh, uh, the next webinar will be emphasizing this solution. So let's see what we are able to do. Basically, uh, the blue boxes are the base station. We have two models, 90 degree base station and 360 degree base station. Those base stations are uh, supporting mesh connectivity, as can be seen here at a distance of uh, self backhauling up to 350 meters. Uh, the 360 degree uh, base station support 60 concurrent bins. Uh, and uh, from those 60, you can allocate for meshing up to eight beams. Here we allocated uh, two beams at each of this uh, triangular. In terms of uh, terminals, you can, we have various terminals. The, Entry level one, T260 or T265 with multiple ports, goes all the way to 350 meters. Uh, next one is, a, and this uh, one also support beam forming, which make the installation quite easy. Uh, automatic connect, may I say. We also have directional antennas uh, based on the, our audio called T280, 
with half a foot antenna on this audio you can reach 400 meters and with a one foot antenna you can reach 580 meters and this is a based on channel 3 and four nines of availability in this case i did the calculation for sudan which is not so far from the uh, operating uh, condition in south africa uh, for lower availability you can uh, get uh, longer distances so if you couple this solution with the point to point uh, you can uh, reach quite interesting uh, scenario of uh, servicing an area so you can get into uh, for example this neighborhood with a point to point may i say 10 gigabit if you have access to light pole which is uh, can be perfect you can build between uh, selected uh, light poles uh, a mesh network with the point to point base stations and once you did that the whole area is covered and it's a matter of a, a half an hour to an hour to connect each and every household uh, simply uh, put the terminal unit and beam it to the nearest uh, pole and you are in and connected and giving service of up to one gigabit to each and every uh, location so it can be broadband it can be video surveillance on camera it can be business building for you to select uh, it enables very fast time to market and uh, faster roi uh, without uh, going into the headache of drenching and uh, taking the risk of uh, cutting a uh, fiber performance is predicted. Uh, this is the time to switch to our panelists and we will start uh, with Ralph from uh, Miro, our uh, leading uh, distributor in uh, South Africa. The first one, uh, I will hand to you, Ralph. Hi, Danny. Thank you so much. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Ralph Derek Brown. I'm the Ciclu product manager at Miro. And yeah, thank you very much for that very informative slides. Yeah, so my first my first slide is just going to cover who Miro is and what we do as a company and what we can offer our clients. So first of all, we have superior stock holding in all major metros. This includes Gauteng, uh, Nelspruit, Durban, Cape Town, and we also have a distribution center in Gauteng to make sure we have more stock available for smaller projects and large projects. Um, we also have very advanced technical support uh, from 8 to 5. Use the guys, it's free, and they will also help you plan your links as well. And then we also recently uh, have warehousing uh, solutions where we provide clients the opportunity to store their stock at one of our warehouses for the time being if they don't have enough space. And then we also have finance options available from 7 to 30 days credit terms if you obviously have large projects you can submit it with us and actually finance those projects meaning it doesn't go any cash out of your pocket immediately so it just gives you a little bit of breathing space and then in terms of online purchasing we do have a website where you can purchase 24 7 on our website so just go and visit www.miro.co.za and then also we've got over a decade of experience in exporting into africa and the reason why we tell uh, our clients this is because we simply know what works in the market and what doesn't and with all those years of experience it really gives you know a, a lot of opportunity and a lot of information in the market and then we're also fully iso certified to ensure only the best quality standards okay dan if you can just go to the next slide so yeah, the next please. slide will basically cover all the just a couple of uh, uh, client testimonials that we have for success uh, projects that we did in the past. So the first one is um, one of our clients that actually it does cover three different applications. The first one, the client needed capacity for connectivity, and they also have a very big surveillance project running at that specific university. So these were actually their words. The second one is the capacity that was needed over a long distance uh, backhaul solution. And then the last one, the client actually spoke about it. These three are all three different clients. The last one, the client spoke about the ease of installation and configuration. Let me quickly go through that. So the first client said, we have been running the Ciclu E-band 10 gigabits per second uh, full duplex. So this is the 8010 radios 
point-to-point -point solutions from the University of Venda to a water tower approximately 1.4 kilometers apart. We're currently pushing a three gigabits per second backhaul through uh, this link and receiving well over 30 MVRs of about 400 camera feet. So that's quite a tremendous amount of cameras that, go, that goes back to this specific link. This link has been remarkably stable for almost a year now, and we highly recommend Siklu and are currently installing the second point-to-point -point link this year as our network is expanding. So this is just one of our success stories with the client. We obviously helped them with the link planning with our technical team. We assisted them with stock that we had in country ready for them to deploy. And then also they made um, use of all of our payment terms that we have. And then the second client, actually, this is uh, Danny spoke about them uh, earlier in his slides, is the data throughput was one of the biggest benefits this client said. To have a link at 10.4 kilometers and still have a backhaul capacity of 10 gigabits per second up and down to full duplex, uh, which is unheard of in the telecommunications industry. This is a cost effective solution that is durable and extremely stable. There is nothing like this in the market. And this is what the client said. Um, Cyclus ruggedized IP67 rated enclosures means that it is durable and can withstand the harshest of environments and in turn minimizes the total cost of ownership, which I think a lot of ISPs and uh, WISP are struggling at the moment. Um, it's a carry grade construction and performance means that you get actual value for your money and quick return of investment, which is basically all we want um, at the end of the day. And then the last client spoke about the throughput, the ease of installation and configuration, the stability, and the fact that a product is carrier grade, high quality type of a link that we know that they can leave up and run without any major issues for the foreseeable future. So as you guys can see, this is just three testimonials for clients that we helped uh, build a Cyclo solution with, and there's a lot more out there. So at the end, we are, very happy to assist you with any Cyclu project. We do have stock on hand in South Africa. We've got payment terms. We've got all those things to assist you to complete a project. And we also try to really price our products competitively. So you have a brilliant service and a great product with a very cost-effective uh, cost price. And yeah, that's basically all from my side. I, I'll, I'll leave my email at the end if any of you want to contact me. But yeah, thank you, Danny. That's all from my side. Very impressive. Thank you very much, very uh, Ralph. Uh, really appreciate uh, uh, what you uh, brought here. And uh, now let's switch over to Duxbury and uh, Mr. Kyle Stone. Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much, uh, Danny. Okay, so just a very brief overview. Actually, we are talking about Ciclu and uh, they're one of our leading outdoor wireless brands. Uh, but we support a complete end-to-end -end portfolio on either side of your Ciclu backhaul. Uh, what really sets us apart is you know, we operate nationwide. We've got our head office here in Johannesburg and then Cape Town and a satellite office in Durban. But we have our logistics countrywide and throughout Africa as well. But it's backed up by technical services that we can use to support you, which can be very important with Ciclu specifically if you're not familiar with the product. It's it's quite a diversion from uh, five gigahertz links if that's the only experience that your installers have. Uh, it can be a bit of a learning curve for first time installers because of the narrow millimeter wave. Uh, so we have a full dedicated pre-sales design team. They can assist you with desk desktop designs, uh, give you your link budgets, tell you what you can expect. But then beyond that, we can even do on-site site surveys and a complete turnkey project solution for you to back you up directly with your, your end user. So we can do physical installation, we can limit it to just commissioning, uh, and right through, after that, we can even give you a back-to-back -back SLA with your end user. So I think that's what we like to think sets us apart, uh, is we have very strong technical resources that we can use to support you in your Ciclu deployment. Uh, next slide, please, Danny. Okay, so special offer for webinar attendees only uh, for the month of February. 
So if you purchase a Ciclu E-Band link uh, from Duxbury during February, what we will do is we will give you free on-site commissioning for that link. Uh, the list is limited up to one day's labor. You really shouldn't need much more than that for a Ciclu link. They, they're really uh, quite quite easy uh, and self-explanatory to set up. So we expect one day labor should be more than sufficient. Uh, we won't do the physical installation. We're just gonna limit it to commissioning. So we'll assist you with the key thing being alignment. So again, I drive that point home. Uh, Ciclu is a really great and easy link to set up, but if you've never done it and all you've ever done is five gigahertz, there's a good chance that if you're pushing a long link, especially on extend mm, you might need some assistance with, uh, with alignment for your first attempt. Uh, we'll do this uh, within a 70 kilometer radius of Duxbury, Johannesburg and Cape Town offices, because that's where our, our technical staff resides. Uh, this office is still valid to anywhere else in the country. It's just that uh, if our staff need to travel beyond the 70 kilometers, then we'll, we'll charge just for the travel and any accommodation. Uh, and you can still get your, your free commissioning on site. Uh, Need any more details? If you do purchase a link, just uh, let us know and we'll we'll go through the whole promo with you. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so you've heard a lot of um, in the in the Ciclu slides some record distances. This isn't quite that, uh, but it's it's a point I want to drive home because it was an interesting link that we did with a first time Ciclu customer. So I keep saying it's it's quite easy to set up. There's competing vendors that might might do a similar kind of thing as the Ciclu, but we've, in, in my experience, they've really struggled first time customers. The Ciclu, uh, this 9.84 kilometer link that was deployed, which is still really quite lengthy for E-Band, uh, was up in one day by a first time customer. They had no experience with the Ciclu prior to this. The performance was very close to what the link planner receive levels predicted uh, and probably could have, could have been tweaked a little bit more. It was on an unstayed tower. So that may have been uh, the reason it was slightly off is that it wasn't quite as stable as we wanted, but they were able to get it up uh, first day, strong receive levels, multi gigabit, uh, full duplex performance for a first time team, which we found very impressive. And I think that's what, what you can expect from the Ciclu is that they are very, very reliable and they can get operational quickly at multi gigabit speeds. Uh, following this, some, some five gig backhaul links were installed as well, and they got them licensed up to, to the multi gig. The screenshot was just the initial commissioning where we only linked it up at one now go up to 10 gig full duplex and has the 5 gig backhaul on it at 10 kilometers for a first time customer. So yeah, I think that's um, it correlates to what Ciclu is saying that you can really push the distance and have the reliability peace of mind with your 5 gig failover and you can do it quickly and easily. So if you have any more questions or need more information, you can contact Duxbury and speak to us about the promo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kyle, for sharing with us uh, the experience from your customers and the various services that uh, Duxbury offer. And this is the time to switch to Adcom Tech and uh, Mr. Ted DeBoer. Thanks, Danny. Hi, everybody. Um, uh, first of all, thanks to, uh, to, to Danny and Dan uh, from Cyclic to, uh, to set this all up for us. Um, I'll chat a little bit about uh, Adcom Tech, who we are, what it is that we do, and uh, and how we can help you uh, on the way forward um, with products uh, such as Ciclu. Um, Adcom Tech is a value-added uh, telecommunication infrastructure solutions provider. Um, we specialize in design, deployment, and support, uh, predominantly of optical and wireless transmission networks. Um, anywhere from the core at uh, Terraco to Metro and Access Space up until the last mile, um, Wi-Fi applications, uh, rural applications, <clears throat> and everything in between. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll assess your situation, we'll help you with the planning, we'll, uh, we'll put everything together, uh, we'll help you uh, deploy uh, the network uh, as you need it, uh, where the help is needed, and uh, we're there to support you after the fact as well so that your uh, your network is up and running and it stays up and running 
uh, you have happy customers and um, and you can go on and grow that network and uh, and your revenue as well. Um, can I have the next slide, please, there, Danny? Sure. And then in particular uh, for this webinar, uh, we have a special deal uh, with zero interest payments uh, over two, three or more months. So depending on what you need, obviously we understand that uh, that, uh, that these kind of applications uh, in a lot of cases are, are quite, uh, quite costly. Uh, and we are here to help you overcome those costs by uh, assisting you with uh, custom payment plans um, for these particular links. Uh, typically we would do this as well, but for, uh, for, for this particular webinar, uh, we can look into doing zero interest payments over set periods. Uh, just a little bit of info about myself. Um, I've been in the, the, the IP-based communications uh, uh, industry uh, for a good couple of years now, and uh, I've worked with a, a good amount of uh, different products and companies. Um, most of you will uh, will have either heard of me or dealt with me already in the past, and uh, um, Please feel free to reach out uh, on the screen right now. All my details uh, are more than uh, welcome to send me a WhatsApp, a signal, a telegram, an email, uh, or just give me a plain old school call. And I'm more than happy to help you uh, get you where you need to be with your business. Uh, thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Ted. Dan, you want to add something? I think it's really great. Uh, I enjoyed uh, everybody's presentation. I think there's some really interesting uh, commentary that's come out from customers actually deploying these solutions. Uh, I just want to communicate to everyone that asked a question. I see Ted has actually answered the questions that were in the chat from our point. So to this recording will be made available. Once the webinar is finished, um, the recording will be made available on our blog, on our social media. So there's no worries there on how to find this information. And everything that we've discussed here today is also available as materials on our website, for which I posted the link in the chat, but it's just ticklu.com forward slash resource dash center. And um, I think in terms of the Q&A, we did receive a few uh, questions that I'm actually seeing were already answered by Ted in the chat, which is great. Um, I trust that everybody has access to the questions uh, as they appear in the chat. So um, uh, I will also make those available in the thank you email that we'll disseminate um, after this chat. And before we conclude, there's also a promotion from Siklu that we would like to extend to everybody that attended today. So Danny, maybe you can switch over to that. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to do that. Excellent. So the special promotion is, uh, actually there are two promotions. Uh, the first one is on the right-hand side, three months extended support and warranty, including hardware warranty for every link purchased within the next uh, two weeks for webinars attendees only. So uh, this uh, will hopefully uh, give you more peace of mind while uh, purchasing a uh, stick to radio. Uh, and the other promotion on the left-hand side is our multi OLTG, the 60 gigahertz mesh solution, which I presented on the last uh, two slides of my presentation. So here you get the complete kit with the mounting kits, uh, with the PoE adapters, uh, the cable glands, everything required. All you need to bring is just Ethernet cable, either fiber or copper, and interconnect. You get the 360 degree base station, full capacity, four sectors, up to 60 clients. You get the 400 uh, meters terminal unit, uh, the enterprise uh, uh, grade with uh, triple ports, uh, including fiber, um, 350 meters uh, enterprise grade uh, terminal unit uh, uh, with uh, those triple ports and the simple one gigabit 350 meters uh, terminal as well. Uh, all of those with power supplies, with uh, mounting kits and all the accessories required to install them. Uh, this price uh, ex only excludes the shipping cost uh, from Israel, and you can get this uh, uh, with the shipping, with the extra shipping cost at one of the distributors, uh, either Myro, Daxbury, or Adcomtech uh, right now. So hopefully this is something that will help you uh, learn uh, about the technology, experience it, and uh, deploy it in the installation as you understood on, hopefully you understood on this webinar, it's quite easy. 
here you can uh, leverage also the automatic uh, alignment with the beam forming with two of the terminals as well as a point-to-point -point, uh, terminal that uh, can be also quite relatively aligned with the base station. Uh, so with that, we are uh, concluding our webinar. Thank you very much. Uh, you get here uh, also uh, our uh, email addresses if you want to get more information uh, and some information about a recent survey that uh, our marketing uh, manager Dan uh, ran uh, uh, concluding this year uh, or 2022. Uh, Dan, you want to add something? 100%. Thank you, Danny, for, for recapping this. Um, actually, CICLU is ISO certified and part of our certification has us pull uh, the majority of our customers. And actually, this year, we've had a record turnout. So we were able to collect hundreds of responses in our customer survey. And we're just very happy with the results in terms of people's satisfaction with our services. So we've picked out, I believe, two of the um, parameters that help us understand whether or not we do a good job as reflected in the testimonials we've seen in our distributors and the testimonials we're receiving from people that reach to, uh, reach out to us directly. So the likelihood of, um, you know, the likelihood to recommend Ciclu or purchase again is quite high. So we're very happy with that and we're showing this um, on the screen wherever we go. And uh, like Danny said, if you'd like to reach out directly, the information is up, the, up at the top. This will be disseminated, like I said, in a, in a nice short thank you email after the conclusion of this webinar. And the third link you see on the screen is a is a link to a special form that we've built that allows you to get a bill of materials and get the ball rolling on a project that you have. And uh, with that, I, th I thank you for your time. We've gone a little bit over what we've planned, but it's great because I think the content here was really great. Uh, I just want to also address the final question that we've received uh, on the Q&A. Not to worry, all of those questions will be uh, answered, collated, and then also disseminated in a thank you email, so you don't have to worry about it. We'll answer all of the questions and, and answer that. And I think we just want to, again, thank you for your time. This will, I hope, be a recurrence at least once a quarter, where we update you on what's going on and uh, on the latest developments and hopefully extend more promotions in order for you to get more familiar with Ciclu. Uh, is there anything else from our partners that you'd like to add? Uh, there nothing is. from my side. Just, uh, just thank you, everybody, for joining. And um, yeah, it's all from my side. And have a, have a lovely day. Thank you, guys. Uh, Sabia, we thanks. would like to. Excellent. We would like to thank everyone for coming. Have a great day. Whatever you need, it's marketing at cyclo.com or reach out to Danny or our partners directly or of course via social media, we're very active on LinkedIn. And with that, have a great day. The recording will be made available when, uh, when the session is concluded and uh, we really thank you for coming today. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks everybody. Bye. Thanks guys. Thanks.